Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to change the battery in my Acer. This is a Nitro 5 uh, computer right here. I've had this thing for about five years and uh, it's awesome. I knew the battery was going out cause it wouldn't last for probably 30 minutes or maybe less. But as you can see right there, the battery sign right there. I've had this plugged up for um, maybe a couple hours. I've tried another plug and it's still doing the same thing. Watch what happened when I unplug it. As soon as I unplug it, it goes dead. So I tried another battery charger and it didn't work. It did the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to change this battery. So I'm gonna get online and order me one from Amazon. Okay, I got my battery in for my Acer uh, computer. It's a Nitro 5. I got it in today. And this battery pack comes with these screwdrivers. You got a Phillips head screwdriver, regular screwdriver, torque. And it also comes with this little spacer tool right here that you rub around the edge to break the little seal or loose. You know, if it haven't been taken or loose in a while, mine's haven't been taken or loose in about five years. And this is the battery that it came with. So it's 11 screws on the back of my Acer that I had to take out to take this cover out. So I'm gonna go through the process and I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew these screws. So you get that fill up head screwdriver and it's a uh, little magnetic. It's not a strong magnet on it, but it will stick to your screws, which is pretty good. And for the price this battery costs and do this yourself, it takes about 15 minutes and you're done. As you can see that screw, look at it. It's holding onto that magnet there on the screw, Phillip head screwdriver. So I'm gonna take the other 10 screws out. So it's a total of 11 screws to take this face, this back cover off. So, and then what you do is take that little spacer and rub it around there and make sure you ain't got no static electricity. Try not to touch anything that you don't need to touch. As you can see, it had a little tape there on the battery to hold that little line in. And you take this connector loose. Make sure you remember which way it comes out. And you see, I'm taking that cover loose. Or I'm taking that connector loose. And once you take the connector loose, you can go ahead and you got two other screws you need to take off that holds the battery in place. So you take those two screws out and the battery just pops right out. And then you move it to the side and you put your other battery in. And this battery fit perfect for mine. It's the same battery first. I'm gonna take the new battery, I'm gonna connect it in that connector, make sure it's slid all the way in. If you gotta take your screwdriver to push it in and make sure you're putting it in the right way. As you can see, I made sure I put mine in the right way. Once you get that in, the connector in you can just put your battery in place and you got your battery in place right there and it'll click in space in place you may have to move it a little bit once you got it in put those two screws back in to hold that battery down and tighten them up don't over tighten them and then the only thing you have to do is put that little tape back on that little connector and then you can just put the cover back on and it'll just snap into place. I don't know if you hear that or not, but just go around and then you put your 11 screws back in. I used to go from right, left, crossways. I don't go in order. It doesn't matter really. And once you got all those screws in, let's try this computer out. I haven't charged the battery or anything. Look at that. Before, I'm gonna put my password in and it's not plugged in. It's running off that battery I put in there. So the battery is already charged up to about 60 something percent. So I'm gonna zoom in and just let you see um, the battery level. As you can see right there. And that's it. That's how easy it is to change the battery on your computer. You don't have to send this to no shop and wait three, four days and just do this yourself.